Hey guys, it's the second day of the new season, and yeah, let's just get right started right into these attacks. We're doing Super Witch, Fireball, just as last season. I'm trying to get a higher rank this season. We'll see what we can do. These defenses do not look good at all. Anyways, let's get right into it. Yep, we can just go in the first attack right away. No need to wait. Oh, it's a double invis base. Okay, I haven't seen this in a while because of my pushing last season. So let's just enjoy our life with this one. We can fireball this area and then jump into this part compartment, which can lead us all the way to the back and access to the right invisible invisibility area. So I'm actually gonna try and get this fireball a bit deeper, just so I don't miss out on anything, just like that. Because I want to get everything around there, not just miss out on something on the back. You know what I mean? So that's why I was I, I was I was doing that fireball with the two invisibles. We don't really need the invis. Where is my warden going? Hello. Okay, I guess Warden's gonna go by himself. I don't know why he <laughs> he just did that. But we just keep going, it's fine. We can still triple this one pretty easily, even though our Warden is messing around like that. We can send this right there. Uh, I want the Warbreaker to die, I guess not. Oh, Warden is full CC. Oh, and my voice is... Okay. We need to... Okay, Minus is coming back. Minos is disappearing for a sec there. I don't want anything to go down, please. We still have two drones to deploy somewhere. All my super pushes are alive, thankfully. Um, nice, King is getting in front of all the damage. Come on, what's going on with my with my software right now? Why is it doing that? Okay, it's back. We're gonna deploy two more druids. We're gonna rage out of the poison. Perfect, the druids are healing. And everything is looking decent. We're gonna place RC once that invis goes off. I'm just waiting for that invis. Come on. Nice super minions activated. Let's put the RC right there while she gets rid of that. We'll double invis right here. Double free, sorry. And I think we got it. Even though the warden went the exact opposite direction, um, I still I'm still able to claim this triple. I think I am. But we'll see. We can wall break. If we need, I don't think we do, but we just wall break anyways. Oh, that's open. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if we will break or not. We still have the RC full HP. We can use these to distract on the outside and let the RC cook the entire army. I mean, the entire base, sorry. And yeah, that warden was uh, on something. I don't know what he was doing, but the warden does not follow my queen or my super witches. But we're still able to, we're still able to claim this triple in the end, and my voice is going. The freaking noise is going, I don't even know what's going on. Let's go to the next attack. Okay, this is my second account now, and we're still using the same army. For some reason, the defense, even on the second day, is not looking good at all. But we still get bad bases just like this one. I'm going to use the two earthquake with this one because I have level 20 fireball on this account. I just want to showcase that this army also works with a level 20 fireball. It's just as strong. So, where do we fireball? Hmm. Maybe we want to fireball something like this compartment. Or we could fling at the compartment, actually. Let's fling at this compartment instead. If you see some great flame flinger value, just go for it. We're going to get rid of this mortar with the baby dragon. Check with some traps. Okay, there was a trap. There was a Tesla right there. Put two archers. And now we'll get the fireball onto that eagle. How about that? I think because if we get the eagle, we're going to be able to get to a, uh, we're able to get a lot of value and activate the invis as well. Uh-oh, I'm not looking at my warden. Hello. Okay, let's watch watch this invis. It's a tactical invis. Mona's gonna go to the right and then do this. And then fireball. Let's go. Oh, we barely get the eagle. Okay, warden goes for it. There we go. Now warden, follow my queen this time, please. Thank you. I would very much like you to follow that queen. Look at that flame flame You're working really well. We'll place super which is right there. Ice golem. Um wall breaker. This and my software is also going again. I don't know what's going on today, but we'll keep going. I'm gonna delay this apprentice and we are placing it now. Okay, we saw we only have two more druids. I'm gonna jump. Uh, we're gonna delay the jump actually a little bit. I'm, I'm not sure where my troops are going. Let's rage early with the CC troops. Let's freeze this with the Indians and the Monolith. Okay, since I'm able to do that. Ability. Let's just 
jump like this. I'm not gonna go into the town hall compartment because I don't wanna get damaged by that poison of the town hall. That's the only reason why I didn't jump to the town hall compartment. Yeah. Okay. Flame thing is amazing value. Let's pop the flame thing in now so the minions can come out. We can freeze the town hall. Yep, town hall with the invisible, perfect. We still have the RC to deploy somewhere. Let's go RC right here on the opposite side, why not? Freeze that. And place the wizard to clean up. And yep, it's a triple. Let's go. Now these bases are pretty bad. It's the second day of the season. And we're obviously gonna get horrible bases every single attack. Not every single attack, but most attacks. But I'll take it. It's a free triple, so let's get to the next attack now. Okay, here we go, attack number three. And let's see what base we get. Oh, okay, it's this one. Now we can fireball onto that water statue, get both the Inferno and the Expo plus the CC. I think that could be a really good, good option. We have the log launcher to activate the in those invis towers. Let's do this. Get rid of that. Can we get rid of it, please? I think we can. Perfect. And now we can invis. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. We'll get. Oh, yeah, the fireball damages everything. <laughs> nice. So we're good. Um, we can. Put the queen, ice golem. Where's the warden going? Don't leave me again. Thank you. Let's put the long launcher in. Two druids and the apprentice warden. The, the reason I'm delaying the apprentice warden is because I don't want him to walk into the damage. So that's the reason why I'm delaying him. Put a baby dragon right there to funnel. Look at that log launcher. Perfect log launcher to enable us to the core. We'll have a, a jump right there just after the log launcher opens up everything. We're able to walk in. Perfect king ability now. Just to help funnel a little bit faster. No, what are they doing? What are they doing? Okay. This is how this how you this how you get the town hall. You range up those minions. This is why I have super minions in that CC. Look at that. They always come in clutch wherever you use them. It's just the best thing. We can range up those druids once again. They're healing up everything we need to. Let's put the RC actually no, let's not head over uh, what's called? Do something we're gonna regret. Let's freeze that monolith. It's wall break right there. Okay, that's actually a really nice wall break. Look at that. So we're gonna open two, two layers. Okay, that monolith staying alive is a little bit annoying. Let's freeze that monolith. I want that monolith to go down. I think it goes down now. We're good. Spam everything on this right side support. And look at that. Monolith is officially down. Let's go. We have a lot of free to use that we don't even need, but I will use just in case. Freeze. Actually, is about to go invisible. Nice. Freeze now. Perfect. We is going to go invisible again. Let's go. Let's pop RC ability and let's triple the space. Let's go to the next attack now and let's see how we do. Okay, let's do the last attack of the video and let's see how we do. This is officially a new season and I really want to finish super high. So I'm going to try my best to get as high as possible. And yeah, this is the reason why I'm using super witches because I feel like they're super consistent and I can triple with them anywhere, any, any, anyhow I like. So let's just get everything going to that town hall compartment. Um, just like that, perfect. Let's use the king. Actually, use this, use this. Use the king, funnel everything. Perfect. Come on. Wall breaker, perfect wall breaker. Okay, King is coming in with the main army. That should that should that shouldn't be that big of an issue. To be honest. We can jump like this now. I don't know what that super witch on the outside is doing, but okay, she's coming back, we're fine. Now what we can do We can rage everything out of the town of poison like we always do. Perfect. Place the RC up there actually. Let's put two more druids. King ability. Let him do his thing. Perfect. CC's coming out now. King's gonna activate poison uh, invis, sorry. Nice. Gets rid of the warden before he, before the invis goes off. Let's put in two minions up there. Let's um we're gonna get ready to rage everything once that last ice golem goes off. There we go. Head hunter. Clean up up top there. We have a lot of freezes to use somewhere. I don't even know where to use them. Let's just spam it all right there. Put this, spam another freeze. 
double invis. Let's go. I think this is a pretty apparent and easy triple right there. That fireball value was just too insane. Literally, I did not even ha we had to work hard for it, and we already got it. So, yeah, that's all we had to do. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, and peace.